Hi, this will be a continuation of our last discussion on frame, bounds, and center. And I'd like to, you know, add a few ideas on to that last discussion. Um, so in the last video, we created two views. And one of them was a larger red view, and one of them was a smaller black one. And then we used some math here to calculate the, the width, or half the width and half the height from the bounds of the red box to move the black one into the center, right? Um, let's do that again in a slightly different way, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to say, um, we're going to um, resize the, the black box so it fills the red one, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these things right here. And I've got a frame here that creates the black box, right? Okay. And what I want to do is I want to create the black box, but I want to put it inside the red one and make it almost exactly as big, but maybe like 10 pixels smaller all the way around the outside. Okay. So to make this a little easier, I'm going to make a rectangle here and I'll just call it, you know, R, right? Okay. How about that, right? And you know what I could do is I could take this rectangle here. And, and then, you know, put the R right there. Um, but, um, you, know, you know, and that's pretty good. And then I could, you know, try and do some math here, right? So I could maybe bring this in 10 pixels on the Y and 10 pixels on the X. And then the width here, oh, that's getting tougher, right? I could subtract 20 from this guy and then subtract 20 from that one for 180. I guess that's not that tough. And, you know, and I could come up with a rectangle that fit within this view up here, right? Let's give that a try and see what it looks like. Hey, well, that worked, right? Um, so that was okay. But, you know, let's imagine we were doing this in a real situation. Like we might be calculating these numbers based on the numbers up here. And I would actually want to you know, do the math. I'd want to get the X and subtract 10 and then get the width and subtract 20, right? And get the height and subtract 20. So this could look pretty ugly. You know what? CG Rect actually gives us a really good, um, a, a little helpful, a really good helpful method that actually does exactly what I did here. It's called inset. Okay. So let, let's try that out. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the, um, the red box right? So we'll say box dot frame. And since frame is a CG rect, CG rect has, it's an object that has a, or a class that has a bunch of methods. One of those methods is called uh, inset by. Okay. So inset by returns a rectangle that is inset by this amount on the X and this amount on the Y. So imagine you're adding margin or padding, actually to give margin around the outside, right? So the X is like, the margin on both the left and right, and Y is the margin on the top and the bottom, right? So let's say we want to add 10 pixels, you know, margin or 10 points margin all the way around the outside, right? And we can use that. So that was a lot easier, right? Uh, let's give it a test. Whoa, what happened there? Looks like it's the right size but it's in the wrong location, okay? Well, what's happening here is the difference between frame and bounds, okay? Using frame, when I inset by, it's going to grab the rectangle here based on the red box's um, position within its super view. So the rectangle here um, is, you can see it's, it's offset by this amount, to the, to the upper corner here, and that's the same amount as the distance from here to here, right? Because the red box has an X of, you know, 100 or whatever it was, right? And a Y of, you know, 170 or whatever it was, right? So when we inset this rectangle, its X and Y are going to be offset by 170 or 160, whatever it was, right? Okay. Um, so how do we fix that? Well, Instead of using the red box's coordinate space, right, in its super view, we want the internal coordinate space for the red box, which is bounds, right? And now to be clear, the reason this is happening is because small box 
is a child of box, right? It's a subview of box. So actually, if we wanted to place the black one, you know, on top of the red one, but not a, as a child of the red one, this would work. Okay, so for example, if I use view here, right, instead of adding the small box as a child of the box, then we'll get the results that we expected. Okay, except this time the, um, the box right here is not our parent, right? So if we want this box to be the parent of the small box, right, then instead of using frame here, what we'll do is we'll use bounds. Let me do this too. I think I'm going to make the text like a little bit bigger. and Maybe that'll be easier to read on the video, right? Okay, so now we get exactly what we had before, but this time um, small box is a child of box, right? So that's the difference between frame and bounds, like in illustrated another way. And it also shows you how to use inset by, which is a really cool method that you could get a lot of mileage out of. I mean, you could calculate this like I did um, yourself, but you know, they've got a method for us. So actually it makes it very convenient to generate rectangles that fit within other rectangles. Or, you know, if you put a negative number here, you can make a rectangle that's larger than the source rectangle. Okay. So anyway, thanks for watching. And I hope that that illustrates, um, inset and bounds a little better. Okay.